Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Illinois where a frauditor was pulled over and, well, he's acting like a total uh, entitled Karen and everything like that. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Harvest Ridge, two citations here, one for registration night. Can I, can I see that? Suspension. Okay, uh, from what it sounds like, he was driving uh, with a suspended license and no plates really. So, yeah, we got a frauditor and a soft tart at the same time. Oh boy, so no wonder he goes off the handle on this one because he's a real mix of the two. Can you show me? You can get out and look at it after I pull away. Well, I mean, I'm, that back? I'm, I'm in more danger than you are. There's a court date on it. You're the one with the gun and a badge, bud. Okay, have a blessed day. Stay in your vehicle until I pull away. You realize you're on tape, right? Stay in your vehicle. Do you know what a Bane Act is? Stay in your vehicle until I pull away. Do you know what the Bane Act Shut is? The door. Do you know what the Bane Act is? Stay in your vehicle. You can't shine that light. My I, Name and badge number. 228, on the citation. Name and badge number. 228, on the citation. I need a supervisor. I need a supervisor. I need a supervisor. I want to speak to your... Uh, dude, this is Illinois, and you're talking about the Bain Act, which is in California. It is not a federal thing, but it still has to do with civil rights. But uh, your civil rights aren't being violated here. You're just being a... Well, jackass freaking moron who doesn't understand what his rights are to begin with, especially at a traffic stop. I need your supervisor. Get back in your vehicle. I need your supervisor. I have no ill will and I have no harm to you. You got a gun and a taser. I need your supervisor. Okay, absolutely. Get back in your vehicle. What's your name? Get back in your vehicle. What's your name? What's your name? That is not a lawful order. Citation. That's not a lawful order. It 100 for me to get my vehicle, Absolutely. the traffic stop's over. The traffic stop's over. You are not going to intimidate me. In no. The traffic stop is over. Get your supervisor out here, dude. You are more than welcome. You are more than welcome to do your job and go away, buckle and bounce, or you can get, get your supervisor. Your dumbass. You dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Oh, come on now, Frauditor. If you would actually get back in your vehicle... Then the officer would be would go away. I mean, clearly he's heading to his car uh, to go to the next call or whatever. But you're too much of a dumbass to realize that, aren't you? So you call backup to Get come back code six, vehicle. dude. The traffic stop is over. Get back. You gave vehicle. me the tickets. Here they are. Once you do this, so what do you want? I want your supervisor because the way get you're back acting. Get in your vehicle and I can get him here. Who are you talking to you like this? Get in your vehicle. You work for me. I don't work for, are you, are you, are you gonna arrest me? I'm gonna detain you for now. You're gonna detain yes. me for what? For what? Dude, the traffic stop is over. The traffic stop is over. Do you guys understand that? Once he gives me these tickets, the traffic stop is over. You guys are violating my rights. I, 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 I need your supervisor and don't turn my phone off. I didn't touch it, I didn't turn I need that still recording. The traffic stop is over. You need to tell him this. Once so you, you give me do those you tickets, want my supervisor and you want the traffic stop to be over. Sir, once you hand me those when tickets. When I told you to stay in your vehicle until I pull away. But why? When I pull That's away, not the a law. Stop is over. That's not a law. Yeah, you know, I would ask you to do your own research, but you know, if I can trust these frauditors to do their own research, uh, you won't exactly get the best results because none of them are trained in any amount of actual research to begin with. But perhaps you should actually uh, look at Pennsylvania versus MIMS for that anyway because, well, technically the traffic stop wasn't over because you antagonized the whole situation to the very end. That's your feeling. You hand me the tickets, the traffic so stop is over. So your feelings got hurt because I wrote you a citation. No, your feelings got hurt. I, I will take care of the citations. Do you, you want the supervisor or do you want to go on your way? I, I would like you to realize that once you hand me those tickets, the stop is over. I know my rights. I, I, I know them better than you probably do. Do you understand what the First Amendment is? Tell me the three parts of the First Amendment. 
uh, Frolliter, I think even dumbass Elmo would be laughing at you because even he would understand there are five parts to the First Amendment. So, yeah, it's probably not a good idea for you to say that you know your rights better than anybody else because clearly you are a dumbass. I'm my supervisor. You are illegally detaining me. I'm not. I yes, gave you, you are. Order to get back sir, in the vehicle for sir, my safety. No, your, your safety. You haven't got a gun and a taser. What are you talking about? You turned your back on me. So how unsafe I never, did you I feel? I never once turned my back. Yes, you did. When you walked away, you turned your back on me. If you were that what, unsafe. What are we arguing about right now? Because you're illegally detaining me. I know. Yes, you are. Once you hand me those tickets, the stop is over. Yeah, given that you don't even know the uh, total amount of uh, sections to the First Amendment, I am going to say citation needed on that because you just made a claim and claims require evidence. So uh, as part of your evidence, you're going to have to provide the statute on that. And, uh, well, I, given how you have seemed to do poor research, uh, yeah, I don't think you'll be able to find it. Learn the law, man. Listen, you, you have like three seconds to undetain me or I'm going to file a lawsuit on both I of you. Care. I, uh, and the stop that, isn't over and until that's the problem. Off. No, it's not. That yes, is wrong. You're detained in those, until those no. go off. I need a supervisor because you, you guys are wrong. You're welcome to contact my supervisor. You got, no, I want him here now. You guys are uh -huh. wrong. You're making a huge mistake. And I know you don't care about a lawsuit because the taxpayers pay for it. Trust me. You guys are tyrants right now. You are detaining me because the traffic stop was over and I got out of my vehicle to check the light. If he's that unsafe, he needs another job. Well, you smooth brain crayon munching moron, at least this guy has a job. Unlike you, which I'm sure you're not exactly employed at this moment because I know I wouldn't want to hire you with this kind of attitude you've got. In fact, if I saw this video on YouTube, if you actually had a job and you were my employee, I would definitely fire you for uh, your conduct. Because I wouldn't want something, somebody like you representing my company, that's for sure. You have a gun and a taser on you. I have no weapons. I mean, no ill will. And you're illegally detaining me. On camera. Is, do you have a body cam? No, I don't do you know. You got your phone. Cam? being recorded as well. Okay. Good. What, so and why are you shaking? Recorded. Why are you shaking? Dude, are you a supervisor? No. Nope. Why are you shaking? Dude, I, I feel very unsafe with you shaking. The truck, please don't go in my car. Well, for the next few minutes, it's just uh, audio. You don't really see much of anything, and not much is going on. So let's just skip on ahead to the next part, shall we? A little longer than a few minutes later. Take the handcuffs off. Stop yelling at me. No, I don't have to. And I'm not going to take the handcuffs off until you calm down. Are you kidding me? You, you realize that I have my phone recording. You realize that there's six police cars here with recorders going It down. takes six of you for a light on the we back of the license. I need cards, names, and badge numbers. You're not getting any cards. I'm, get, I'm, 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 I'm getting names and badge numbers. You can file a freedom of information. From all of you. All of you. All of you. Where's my phone? <laughs> Where's my phone? Name and badge number. No thanks. Name and badge number. 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 Are you failing to ID? You need to get in your car. Name and badge number. We're done here. Name and badge number. Well then if I'm free to stay, I'm free to go too, right? So name and badge number. You're failing to identify? Again, can you provide me with citations where they're supposed to identify themselves to you? I mean, other than what they already have on them, name, um, their name tags and badge numbers on their persons. I mean, come on now, dude. Work with me here. Work with me. But I am just going to cut it off right here because all he does from this point on is just, well, take out his rage at on the police officers by filming their vehicles, which we've all seen that countless times before. It really does nothing to the officers anyway. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?